What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. What time is it, Abby? Time for me to go home. What time is it? Today is awful. It's 4 o'clock. It's 4 p.m. We've been extremely busy so far, not guys. Just, yeah. Not only it's been are we crazy. Busy, it's been super crazy. We're all frustrated as all get out. Like, we are all pissed off. <laughs> yeah, we're super think, pissed. I don't think Ryan is. <laughs> Ryan's never mad. <laughs> but I am. Like, I'm yeah, done with it. Yeah, there's today. just. There's just a lot of stuff going on. It's been really busy, um, <laughs> frustrating customers coming in. No one that's been like rude or anything. It's just the build up over time. Yeah, it's just been I don't know frustrating just like, overall. Know, sexism is rude. <laughs> people, Abby will ask people if they need help and they will say no and then stand there and wait for Ryan to be done doing what he's doing and then ask him for help. <laughs> and it's pretty stupid. Yeah. Abby knows more than me. Ryan like, says Abby knows more than him. I wasn't going to say it, <laughs> but I was thinking it. <laughs> like, I think we all know, like, a good bit. Like, Cooper knows a lot of N64, Super Nintendo, and kind of a little bit of NES. Like, I know a lot about handhelds and, like, open-world RPGs. And then Ryan knows a lot about, like, like, what? Mass. I was like... <laughs> Sega stuff, PlayStation 1. Yeah, so, like, we all know about our own things, but, like... When people sit there and, like, they're like, oh, yeah, like, what do you know about handhelds? After I've asked them, like, if they need help, and Cooper's like, or Ryan's like, oh, I don't know anything about it. You should ask her. And then, like, they, like, don't want to ask me. And I'm just like, get Because they're probably embarrassed at that point. Because <laughs> they've been dumb, and then they're so embarrassed. Mad. Remember when that lady was like, don't ask her anything. She doesn't know anything. And I was like, oh, oh, oh. And then you gave that them happened the a wrong time ago. Like, you gave them the wrong cord. And then they came back, and I gave them the right one. So, maybe, maybe I did it on purpose. I, maybe <laughs> Teach them a lesson. <laughs> so we have a ton of trades to show you guys. Um, I don't think everything is even stickered yet. And it's all kind of spread out because we've gotten way too many trades. So I'm going to go through, show you guys what I can. And we also literally got at least 25 packages in the mail today. So we have a ton of stuff to open. We're probably going to have to do that after we close. First up, we have a bunch of Blu-rays here, guys. Some of these are going to be on the website if they're priced higher than, like that one is priced higher than $2.99. Anything that's priced at $2.99 just goes into the system as a bulk Blu-ray, and those will not be on the website. There might be a $2.99 movie in there. Oh. Oh, yeah. I can see Abby put the actual title in and then priced it at two ninety nine. So there this were, will be on the website. There were certain ones that I was like, people are going to be interested in this. But the other ones that were all bulk two ninety nine, those are all ones that I was going to pass on and you said to take them. Yeah. So. We also got a Ryu Smash Amiibo. <laughs> Let me just mention three and Animal Crossing New Horizons. And then, what is this one? Valkyrie Drive... What is that word? Behikuni? <laughs> B-H-I-K-K-H-U-N-I. Uh, -K -K Say it one more time so all the people can comment on how you butchered it. Behikukuni. <laughs> Read that, Ryan. If you didn't know, Ryan's fluent in Japanese. Uh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> you said it all right, I would say. You say it. How would you say it? Behikuni. Behikuni. <laughs> Almost sounds like bikini. <laughs> well, we also got a very nice black label Silent Hill Dude. and a Mario Party 6. <laughs> There's definitely a lot more than this. I think this is from today. We got a box. Is this box only or box and manual those only? Are all those are both box and manual Okay, so box and manual only. Uh, Zelda Classic NES series and Metroid Zero Mission. I think these also are from today. From Fallout 4, Last of Us Remastered. And Diablo 3. This came in, but it doesn't have a case, so I'm going to take it home and play A it. disc only Death Stranding. We got a black Wii U traded in today. We haven't had a Wii U system in a very long Somebody time. I also stole this from Redbox, so. <laughs> well, they ended up paying for it. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, the stuff that's in. This stuff is new from today Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Strategy Guide, Game Boy Color, Black DS Lite, and then just a bunch of random controllers and stuff. Oh yeah, this this is from today. Scribble knots, a bunch of like cheaper Game Boy Advance games. I'm not even gonna go through them all. This is the best one. And then whatever you do. And then Star games. Wars, Mario Land, Shrek, and Wario Land 2. This controller is pretty cool. 
Show these well, ones first. Got these controllers. And also three more black ones. Three black ones? Mm-hmm. And then how many, what consoles did we get today? Uh, I know we got uh, a four gig more. Super Slim 360. Yeah. Someone commented the last time we got a Super Slim and they're like, ha, oh, you called that console a Super Slim. And I'm like, yeah, that's what they're called. <laughs> <laughs> Red Joy-Cons. These are Japanese import ones, but they work just fine. The pink one sold. Oh yeah, we also got a pink, a neon pink, like the Splatoon color one that sold. This controller came in. This is the Razer Wolverine Ultimate uh, Xbox One or like PC controller. Tested it on the computer. Everything seems to work great. The guy said he didn't have any issues with it. We also got both of these traded in, which he bought them from Nintendo. He didn't get them from us. And then we also got that one traded in. So two, two NES classics today. And what else? We got a Super Nintendo classic. Too. Yeah, I showed, so. That box of David stuff. I showed that. So we got the, for, the, then, for the systems, we got the, the Xbox 360. Were there more consoles? There was a PS2, right? We got like 20 freaking packages. Yeah, and we're gonna open those later. Yeah, this is PlayStation 2. That PS2 was from today. And there's gotta be more. Did you show this with, our, yeah. with our Wii U. That came Plus with the two Wii U. Wii Wii U. Two Wii Wii remotes, Wii U. two nunchucks. That's an ambulance. Yeah, where are those games? What? There was a stack of games with the Wii U that came in. I don't know. Yeah, I wasn't Wii involved games. with that. Don't show hmm. them. Well, I thought they were right there. Oh, here's here's some more stuff that came in today. Not this, but Mario Sunshine came in. Battlefield, Call of Duty Ghosts, Red Dead Redemption 2, which we just sold one of these on the website. Ratchet and Clank, XCOM, Dead Island, Halo Wars, Beautiful Katamari, Viva Pinata. And then those are old. Yeah. We also got this system. Oh, yeah, this Super Nintendo. <laughs> it works, as you can see. Kind of. <laughs> um, the, so we have a young customer. I would guess he's probably 12. He's 13, I 13? think. 13? Yeah. So he has been coming in for a while. I would, I would call him a regular. Yeah. And he was, last time he was here, he's like, hey, I'm trying to learn how to fix consoles and stuff. Do you have any broken ones I can work on? And then... You know, if, if I fix them, then you can give me, like, a little bit of store credit. And I was like, sure. So I let him take this Super Nintendo that didn't... I think it wouldn't power on was the issue. Yeah. You can see it's all glitchy. Yeah. So it's not 100%. But the power switch doesn't reach to right here. And he was like, I think someone else tried to repair it first. I don't know. It didn't work at all. Now it at least partially works. So... He did something, <laughs> but I let him take home a Famicom clone system that we had that didn't w wouldn't power on at all, and can then we also power? had, I think he can. He also he also took another Super Nintendo, so we'll see what happens. All these packages are from today, and there's a lot more than that. Yeah, there's another one right there, and <laughs> FedEx, UPS, and USPS all dropped off. All these boxes. All here, these boxes. And then the box on top of there. All, I think most of these are going to be bubble mailers, yeah. but still, lots of stuff from today. Oh, here's the games. Metroid Other M, Star Wars Force Unleashed, Just Dance 2, Epic Mickey, Star Wars Force Unleashed 2, Just Dance, and a disc-only Hyrule Warriors. We have one other stack here that I forgot to show. We have Army of Two, Far Cry 3, Full Auto 2, Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer, Lego Star Wars, and ATV Quad Power Racing 2. Nothing too special in this bundle. All right, guys, so we are closed now. We have a bunch of packages to open. So we're going to start with this one from Shamrock Games and more. And Abby just told me what this was. Um, this is a purchase that we made. So there's lots of bubble wrap. Oh, there is a note. So thank you for purchasing the blank. If you guys have any problems with anything I sent you, please let me know. The last thing I would want to do is screw you guys over. <laughs> I would hope so. I watch the vlogs every day. I'm a small business owner myself and like helping small businesses. Thank you for the purchase once again. Hopefully I can sell more stuff to you guys in the future. From Charlie. Thank Thanks, you, Charlie. Charlie. So we have three white Wii remotes and one of the Princess Peach ones. Very good. 
And then in the rest of the box, there's more Wii remotes. Wee. So there should be nine total. Are you saying there's Wii Wii's in there? There's, no, there's not. There's <laughs> ten, <laughs> 10 total, nine white ones, and then the one pink one. <laughs> So the second box here is coming from one of our distributors, and I don't remember everything that was supposed to be in here. I think there were some controllers for sure. It's a distributor similar to Hyperkin, but this is not from Hyperkin. Is this uh... Don't say it. It's a secret. <laughs> so we have some other stuff in here as well. So. First, we have N64 controllers. There's a ton of them. I'm not gonna show them all, but there's jungle green, yellow, red, gold, atomic purple, gray, blue, green. There's a lot of them in here. Then we have a Street Fighter figure. That's cool. I don't even, is that supposed to be Chun-Li? Yeah, it's alternate uh, uh, yeah. color. It's like a little chibi style. Yeah. And then Some we also have this really cool Mobile Suit Gundam figure. Ooh. He's mostly clear, but he's got like some colored like internal parts. That's cool. That one's really cool. And then we have some more of these action replays. Uh, these are the action replay power saves for 3DS, and these are the power saves pro. So I got three of these and two of these because we have two of those left and one of those left. So now we will have four of each. And there's just more controllers. And then lastly, we got two more factory sealed PlayStation 4 controllers. We have another standard red. We still have one red one left. We also had a white one that already sold. And then we got the camo red. Ooh. Very cool. Abby's getting a phone call. Yeah, your sister's calling me. So pretty cool stuff uh, unfortunately the red one looks like it got a little bit of damage on the top of the box there from shipping not too but bad. they are still brand new and your average customer is not going to care about that it's going to open it anyway yeah so pretty cool stuff that's everything in here there's just a lot of n64 controllers yay all right guys next packages here we have one two three four five six seven eight boxes from the same person and we are not quite sure what this is. Um, we do a lot of purchasing and stuff over Facebook and Instagram, and we don't always remember exactly like what's coming. Um, this is from Darren. Um, so I guess, oh, hey, note in the first package. Nice. Um, okay, so, okay, I do remember this now. Um, Darren lives in Wyoming and we talked, um, he wanted to get, he wanted to resurface, uh, Final Fantasy X, which is in one of these boxes somewhere. And then the, there's a bunch of PS2 games in here that he got for free. I think he said like, uh, one of his neighbors was like getting rid of stuff and he got everything for free. The Final Fantasy X was the only game he wanted to keep out of there, so he wants to get that one resurfaced. And then uh, he sent all the other ones, and basically we are going to just make an offer and pay for them um, through PayPal, I'm assuming. Um, so I guess I opened the, the right package first. So there's the Final Fantasy that he wanted to get resurfaced. And then, so we don't even know what's in here. We have High Rollers Casino. Looks like he did a good job packing them all. We have God of War, SSX3, San Andreas, and Star Wars Battlefront. He did tell me that there were, like, no sports games, which is good. This has a crack in it. Little mm. Big Planet. It's got a crack right there. Mm. That's garbage, unfortunately. It's going home with me. <laughs> God of War 2, Disc 1, Unreal Tournament, uh, Half-Life for PC with a bunch of top scratches, Ghost Recon with top scratches, Madden 2005, and Cars. The Unreal Tournament also has a top scratch. So those are all for Ryan. Yay. And then, second package. I'll have to go in the stack because I don't have enough room on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get more walls, Ryan. Yeah, I need Just more Just start walls. putting them all over the ceiling. 
I should, but we got glow stars on our ceiling, so, you know, <laughs> got to, cool. to have those. <laughs> Midnight Club 2, Tokyo Extreme Racer 0, NASCAR, Medal of Honor, and Ratchet and & Clank going commando. And then also Ratchet & Clank Up Your Arsenal, Grand, Theft or Grand Turismo 3, and Hot Shots Golf 3. Nice. I like Hot Shots Golf. Paris uh, Dakar, I think it is, Rally. Hmm. Medal of Honor European Assault, Heat Seeker, DT Racer, Jack X Combat Racing, Metal Gear Solid 3, Ford Racing 2, and Splinter Cell. All right. So there's a lot of games in here. Yeah. Package number three. It looks like these are, they're marked, um, like this is number four out of eight. But I thought there were nine. Whatever. <laughs> Okay, there's another note, but it just has the return address and phone number on it. So I'm opening them out of order. <laughs> we have Sims 2 Cast Away, Madden 07, NCAA Final Four, World Championship Poker. So there's a couple sports games, but he said it wasn't like all sports games at least. Uh, San Andreas, Madden 06, Metal Gear Solid 2, NCAA 07, and then Starhawk for PlayStation 3. He did say that there were some uh, PS3 games as well. I think he said a little bit over half was going to be PS2, and then the rest were PS3. Nice. Alright, looks like more PS2 in this one. Ooh, that's a good one. We have Sly Cooper, yeah. Corvette, Ghostbusters, Ooh. another Metal Gear 2, and Crazy Taxi. Yeah. Namco Museum, another San Andreas, and Scooby-Doo, Spooky Swamp. Call of Duty 3, Dead to Rights, SmackDown vs. Raw, Ratchet Deadlocked, Ratchet and Clank, Vice City, Turok Evolution, and another Sly Cooper. Nice. A couple slides in there. That's we're like, cool. we're like halfway through. <laughs> Looks like he paid quite a bit to ship these. Uh, this one box was fourteen dollars. Jeez, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, could probably fit all this stuff into one large box and send it for like thirty or forty bucks. Mm. But it looks like this one he paid twelve fifty five. This one was almost sixteen dollars. That one over there was fourteen. I'd show you guys, but you know, address and everything. Yeah, we have. ATV Offroad Fury 2, Ghost Recon, Mark Bass Pro or Mark Davis Pro Bass Challenge, Rebel Raiders, Hitman Contracts, and Hitman Blood Money, and then Chronicles of Riddick for PlayStation 3. And then Suzuki Superbikes, Quantum of Solace, Agent Under Fire, Gran Turismo 3, The Great Escape, Rainbow Six 3, and Cabela's Alaskan Adventures. So nothing like rare so far at least. Yeah. Some good stuff though, San Andreas and mm -hmm. Ratchet and Clanks and Sly Cooper, we can always use those. Oh yeah. I think there was a wrestling game in there that's actually gone up in price too. The SmackDown vs. Raw I think is like 15 bucks. Yeah, that one's gone up a little. Splinter Cell, Burnout 3 Takedown, ATV Offered Fury 2, SOCOM 2, another Ratchet Deadlocked, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2, another Ratchet Going Commando, and MX vs. ATV. Very good. Oh, here's a good one in here. We have High Rollers Casino, another one. Cabela's Dangerous Hunts, Area 51, Tony Hawk's Underground 2, nice. and Spongebob, Ooh, Battle yeah. for Bikini Bottom. That's a good one. Yeah, it is. Hitman 2, Blood Rain 2, and Sing Star Pop. Yeah, what is nice. what is Spongebob now? Like 25, 30 bucks? Yeah, I think so. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I can't remember. It went up when the new one came out, or but right before the new one came out, it was going up, but it has probably gone back down. Probably. We have some PS3 in this one. The Walking Dead, Mass Effect 2, Split Second. Don't know if I've ever seen that one. Killzone 2, Assassin's Creed 1, Dante's Inferno, and Dead Space 2. And Need for Speed Rivals Complete Edition. Hmm. Never seen that one. Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. NCAA 11. Yeah. That's a good one, right? Yeah, I think so. Alien Isolation. 
Batman Arkham Asylum, Black Side Area 51, Fear 3, Uncharted, and the Tomb Raider Trilogy. I think that one's pretty good. Yeah. That one's actually really and cool. And the last box from him. I might want that. <laughs> he watches the videos too. Cool. So he called and um, he sounded like he was probably a little bit of an old school guy. I don't think he uses much like Facebook and everything. Mm. That's okay. Me neither. King Kong, Max Payne, Guitar Hero 2, Spy Hunter 2, and Transformers. And then the last little stack, we have Sean Palmer's Pro Snowboarder, ATV Off-Road Theory 1, and SOCOM 1. So, Ooh. thank you to Darren yeah, for this stuff. Um, we're going to get that Final Fantasy resurfaced, and then um, eventually... <laughs> Uh, we're not doing it tonight, obviously, because it's already time to go home. Ryan's very gracious to stay after to help film. Yeah. So we're going to go through this stuff and uh, get a cost for you, and we'll uh, send along PayPal, or if you don't have PayPal, we can send some money in the mail. It's not as safe, but we can do it if we have to. But thank <laughs> you, Darren. All right, guys, the next package is from Haytham, and Abby said that she didn't remember talking to him. Uh, we've done lots of deals with him, and... Uh, you know, bought lots of stuff, did trades and all that. Uh, but she said she didn't remember talking to him recently, so I'm uh, not exactly sure what this is going to be. Huh. Well, on top, we have a PC slipcover for Civilization. <laughs> and then we have the Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD Remix Deluxe Edition box only. That's cool. We also have the box only for the Kirby 20th Anniversary. Ooh. We have... Quick Start Guide for PSP and mm. a Wii Sports Resort Big Box. Right. And then there's a bunch of VHS tapes in here. Did you talk to Haytham about VHS tapes at all? I have been going through messages and I have not been able to talk to a lot of people. And so I did not message with him. Oh, I don't know right. if we have a message from him either. So it looks like there's probably some stuff in here. Because we... We would, we would probably not pay for a mail-in trade for VHS, so I'm assuming he just sent these, because there's a lot of these in here that we probably wouldn't sell anyway. A lot of these we probably just, like, give to David or something. Was there a note? Uh, no. There was no note. Uh, but we have Mummy Returns and Apollo 13. Like, those are the kind of movies we probably wouldn't sell in here. We just don't have the room. Um, there's some in there. See, some of these we probably would sell, like the, like the Batman one, Blade, maybe. Is that Ice Cube for yeah. <laughs> Here's some more. See, some stuff, like the Lord of the Rings, we might sell in here. I don't know if it would actually sell. The settlement's cool. There's some more. Jurassic Park! I feel like Jurassic Park, someone would probably buy that. But I don't know if someone in here is going to buy the Matrix. <laughs> yeah. Some of the stuff that's just too common. True. Some more Batman ones. Ooh. One of the old Batmans. So... Thank you to Haytham. And like I said, some of these will be sold in here. Some of these I'll probably give to my buddy David. He's a big VHS collector. So he can find a use for them if we can't. So this box is an eBay purchase that I made. Um, we opened up a couple N64 controllers the other day. We got the green and the black ones uh, for the collection. This one it could be one of two other ones that that I ordered, so I'm not sure which of those two it is, but we're going to find out. One of the ones that I ordered is going to be for the store, or it's a condition upgrade, and my other one will be for the store. Um, one of them is just straight for the collection. I love when they do this. Whenever we buy stuff, like, from Japan, a lot of times they, they use, like, newspaper or something to wrap. It looks like they used pages from a book this time, but it's, like, it looks like maybe like a phone book or something, but it's all in Japanese. It's cool. I always think that's kind of cool. Yeah, this one's got like an advertisement on it. I don't know what it's for, but it's 50% off. <laughs> yeah. 50% off a girl. <laughs> There's like a Disney, Tokyo Disney World Resort thing on the back. <laughs> so this is a condition upgrade for my personal controller. And then... My The one that's at home now is the one that we're going to be bringing in and selling. So, this is the Diehawks Nintendo 64 controller. 
It is a Japanese exclusive color. It is very cool. The reason this is a condition upgrade is, well, it's got this dent on the front. You can kind of see my box has a crease down the front, but the controller in here is brand new. Oh, no, it's not. Maybe I'm thinking of the other controller. I think the other one I bought was brand new. Yeah, I mean, considering the condition said old and used. <laughs> <laughs> but check it out. It's like fire orange on the top and clear black on the bottom. And this is not the same clear black that is on the smoke controller. This is a darker black. So this was only used for this one. And it's a Japanese exclusive special edition color. Very, very cool. There's a matching console that goes with this color. Um, that boxed console is very, very expensive to get. This controller, I feel like we got a pretty good deal. And like I said, it's just, this one's gonna be the condition upgraded version. My other one that's at home is the one we're gonna sell. And we opened up a small package the other day that I didn't show you guys. It was just an N64 controller stand from Rose Colored Gaming. And I bought that to display this controller like next to the box in the glass case. So once we get that controller from home and bring it in here, uh, get everything set up, I'll show you guys what it looks like. But I wanted to make like a really cool looking display uh, with this controller along with the factory sealed ones that we brought in to sell. So it's gonna be pretty cool once we get that all in here and I'll show you guys that once we do. So we have one last package and it just happens to be our next factory sealed order. All right last box this is the one you guys have been waiting for so there should be enough games in here to cover the majority of the back ordered items uh some people placed orders after i made this order for a couple of the ds games so there might not be enough for those and those people will have to wait until the next shipment comes in uh, but in addition to covering all those orders i got a bunch of other stuff as well so it's going to be a pretty cool one Stop being behind me. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> You're distracting the people. It's funny oh, though. I just realized how rolly these chairs are. I said, oh. <laughs> I told Jesse, I was like, if we had two fire extinguishers and the parking lot was super smooth, I and Ryan could have some chair races oh yeah i'd be down for that <laughs> hit the like button if you want to see that <laughs> i would die <laughs> it'd be like me riding the scooter all over again just like <laughs> so it'd there'd be fun though there should be more <laughs> copies in here but we got uh more of the shantays there's seven here but i think i ordered 10 so there's probably three more in the box um so we got a lot of new stuff in here we didn't get last time what did i do to deserve this my lord too for the PSP. <laughs> and then Touch Detective one half Atlas game and Some also of these Steel are Princess. For, though, right? A lot of these have already sold. Not the new ones though. The new games are all gonna be going up. Uh, two copies of Steel Princess. Um, I'm not exactly sure when we're gonna try to get to them as soon as we can. Uh, but a lot of the a lot of the duplicates from the last box have already sold. Uh, but a lot of the new ones have not yet, obviously. Subi Coden for DS. And Chrono Trigger for DS. Dragon Quest V for the DS. Mm -hmm. And these are all brand new factory sealed, of course. Rune Factory 2 for the DS. River City Super Sports Challenge. And Antamarama, I think it is. Atlas game. move these out of the way pocket fighter yeah i think that we actually because i think i just got these two but uh, we definitely sold more than two on the website a couple people bought two quantity so um some of you guys will have to wait for those unfortunately deadly premonition director's cut for playstation 3 this game is hmm. for for ps3 this is a pretty expensive game even just a complete copy. So it's kind of cool to be able to get those. Got a couple more uh, Powerpuff Girls yeah. and also a couple more Star Wars Battle for Naboo. Cool. And then we have two copies of Fatal Frame 1, 
two copies of Fatal Frame 2 and two copies of Fatal Frame 3. Mm. Those are pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> we have two copies of Atelier Iris Eternal Mana. Lots of PS2 games. Breath of Fire, Dragon Quarter, Chaos Wars, Disgaea 2, Cursed Memories. Oh, there's a third one of those. Two Shin Megami Tensei Digital Devil Saga 2s. So many PS2 games. <laughs> the majority of it is PS2. Samurai Showdown Anthology. Mm -hmm. And two more Nocturnes. Two Persona 4s. This is the, uh, the soundtrack disc bundle. And two more Persona 3 FES. Metal Slug Anthology. Nice. Mega Man Anniversary Collection. Nice. And also Mega Man X Collection. Nice. And Mana Chemia 2, Fall of Alchemy. This one was kind of expensive, so I only got one. <laughs> Lupin the Third, Treasure of the Sorcerer's King. Two of the King of Fighters uh, Orochi Saga. King of Fighters 2002-2003. And then two King of Fighters 2000 and 2001. Three copies of Grim Grimoire. I got three because I think that one's just so cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then two each of the Fatal Fury Battle Archives Volume 1 and 2. That's almost the top level of this box. Oh, <laughs> There's geez. still more, though. Ryan's loving these. Yeah. There's already uh, one that I think I might get. I think it's Yugdra. <laughs> Yugdra <laughs> Union. <laughs> for PSP. Two Animal Crossing New Horizons for the Switch, just nice. because I like having these. People do ask for them. We got that pre-owned one traded in today, so we'll have that plus the two, uh, the two sealed copies. There's another Samurai Showdown Anthology. Nice. And then two Red Ninja End of Honors. There's another uh, Anto Marama, whatever it is. And a couple Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinths for uh, 3DS, two Shin Megami Tensei Digital Devil Sagas, and two Rune Factory 1s for DS. Very cool. Dang. We're actually almost done because most of the stuff on the bottom are duplicates of each other. We got two Axiom Verge Multiverse Editions for the Wii U. Um, one of them, this one here, kind of got crushed on the side. You can probably see it. Yeah. Um, it was right against the edge of the box, and I think that's what caused it. I don't think it was like that before they shipped it. So that kind of sucks, but uh, what can you do? <laughs> yeah, it happens. And then this one I'm very excited about. We have five Hello Kitty Cruisers for the Wii U. <laughs> awesome. And uh, this game used to sell sealed for like $300 at one point. Um, it's not that much now. Uh, it's closer to just the original standard retail price. But when p a lot of people are going for complete Wii U sets, and this is still a hard game to find. It's not as expensive as it used to be, but just to like find one in person is still pretty difficult. So I thought that would be pretty cool. Um, I'm actually going to be keeping one of these uh, for my collection. I've kind of toyed with the idea, and it goes against everything I've said recently, but I've toyed with the idea of going for a sealed Wii U set on top of the complete in box one just because I already have it over halfway done sealed. And I don't have that one, so I'm just gonna hold on to one. We also got two more of the Rune Factory 4 Special Archival Editions for the Switch. Um, this this one's in really nice shape. This one, it looks like it got pushed in on the front a little bit right up top here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on camera. Yeah. It's very, very slight, um, but you can notice it in person. It's almost like there's a little crease that goes right across here. Hmm. Oh, I think I saw it for a second. Let's see if you oh. can catch it in the light. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you can see it. Okay. Yeah. I think it's just how it was shipped. There must have been something like this. Probably. And it was, like, pushed over. This corner up here is a little dinged up as well. Mm. You can kind of see it. Little defects like that, unfortunately, are just 
unavoidable unless I'm going to order one game at a time, which I'm not going to do. <laughs> nah. So, last up, we have the Resident Evil Essentials. I bought 15 copies of this, and at least 11 of them have already sold. So, we should have a couple extras left over to fulfill orders, um, but if you guys... If you guys are interested, they're still going to be on back order. I can still order them. Um, we actually have three sealed cases of them mm. in here. So th there's three of them that are just loose. And then we have three sealed cases directly from Capcom USA. It's pretty cool. How many are in each box? Uh, let's open Ryan's one. Ryan's like, I want one. <laughs> Ryan wants a whole box? Yep, I'm going to buy a whole box. No. I don't think Ryan's going to be the only one who wants to buy a whole box. Yeah, someone else might. So yeah. I wanted well. to... Them... Those cases, people really like having those. Yeah. There are four really cool. double packs, or four triple packs in one case. Yeah. So, if I order four of them at a time, they're going to send me a case like this, unopened. Mm. Which, is pretty cool. But there's three cases in here you can show on the inside. That's the last thing we have. So there's the three open ones, and then three full boxes, three full cases. Um, I wonder if I buy enough, if they'll send... Because these are... This is like a box, but then a number of these would come in a bigger box, and that would be a case. I mm. wonder how many of these boxes fit into one case. Mm. That's cool. Because if I, if I buy maybe like six boxes, I might get a full case of them, which would also have like the Capcom stuff on it. So that might be kind of cool <laughs> if, anyone, yeah. if anyone wants one. Um, the prices on the Resident Evil Essentials might be going up. That's why I bought so many. Uh, the guy that we're buying from, he literally told me the prices are going to be increasing on these. The The wholesale price will be increasing, which means that the price we sell them for might have to increase or I might just have to stop buying them because um, I don't want to overprice this stuff, but we still have to be able to make money, obviously. And uh, the price that they're at right now is decent. We're able to sell them. We're making some some decent money. But if he increases the price to what he told me, then it's not worth it for us to sell them at the same price anymore. So we will have to increase the price, which I think that we can bump it up a little bit and still be in like a, you know, a good price for them and not be like too overpriced. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that I have not ordered because the prices are too high and it just doesn't make sense to buy them and then have to charge some crazy amount when you could just go on eBay and buy them for, for like half the price or whatever it is. So um, if that happens, I'll let you guys know but we will be carrying them for as long as we can. Uh, just understand that if you want one at the price that they're at now, which I think we're selling them for 40, uh, buy it now. Because after my next order, the prices might be going up. And the more of you guys that order them, the more that I can afford to buy, obviously. Um, like I said, we had about 11 orders for them and I ordered 15 so we could have a few extra. So I'm, that's my plan with each order. You know, if you guys, if we sell three copies of River City Super Sports Challenge, I will order five so that we have two extra for the store. Cooper. And the sooner I order stuff, the longer I get the better prices, basically. Can we, we talked about doing the thing where we um, have five in stock, but two of them don't get listed on the website. Can you do that while items are on back order? When, so that no, when items are on back order, it's an unlimited amount. Ugh, fine. And the only way to keep stuff off the website is to manually take them off. Like if, if we get five of these in stock, five of them will go into the website. We have to then go to the website, change the stock to three. And if anything gets updated on our system, like if we sell one in the store, then it will bump it up to how many we actually have. So it's not really doable. You have to keep track of everything manually and it's not really worth it. Um, but like I said, if you want any of these games at the prices that we're listing them at now, make your order now because the prices can change. And he told me that the prices mostly change in the fourth quarter. So uh, September, October, November, December, that's when prices go up. So, and maybe they'll go back down after that, who knows. Um, but if you want the prices that they're at now, make sure you buy pretty soon. Obviously the stuff's not on the website just yet. Um, it's going to take us at least a couple days, it, you know, I would guess. Um, at the long, at the most, it should take us until Tuesday or Wednesday to get this stuff up. If we were, if we're as busy as we were today for the rest of the weekend, we're not going to have time to do these, but we will get to them as soon as we can. So I think that's pretty much it. So 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you again tomorrow.